what up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel and today i'll be watching avatar the way of water this movie yeah it performed well in the box office than i actually thought it would i thought it was going to be like 1.5 billion movie you know but it's a current 2.3 right now 2.3 in the box office so yeah unbelievable right yeah we're considering that the speak or the first movie made about 2.9 billion dollars in the box office uh well the second one is following the first steps so guys if you do end up enjoying my reaction make sure that you do leave a like also subscribe it's free and let's get into it so this is actually happening Yeah, it is actually happening. Uh, you know, for a second, I for a second, I thought it was a dream. That's great. Oh, that's him mother. How? How do? How? I hope by the end of the movie they do explain how it was. I don't think in the first movie they established that, you know, you know, Grace was in love with somebody or anything like that. So Spider's father was the general. Okay. You didn't know that the house was they never established that in the first movie either. So this is like from the last movie. Finger talk, guys. You don't know what you're saying. I wish you to. What is Kitty? Kitty? Who? Kitty. What is Kitty? Did you see her? No, she's busy discovering this new world. I wonder if she's able to hold it really that long though. That's cool. At a bit they don't even know how to do that. Is he jealous or something? He's about to cross trouble, like his old team. Look, he's free. Aliens. <laughs> but I can do something really cool. Yeah. Go. 
fucked up RSL for you tight like this. Okay? Okay? Call the punch, bitch! Never touch my sister again. knows better than to take him outside to drink. The blame is his. Yeah, it is his. No. This is not Alun's fault. This was my idea. Alun tried to talk me out of it. Yeah, that was one way to make him be your friend, but yeah, it was his fault though. Really make friends with these kids. If all I was I don't trying hear to do. It. It's worth showing what was going on. Okay, I don't know. No more trouble at your gnat and your tail. You read me? Okay. Bring the sign. speak to me because I know what it's like to be one big disappointment I wish I'd been there but I'm so glad to see what he did for me but to me he does like she does look like Gracie though you know it makes sense that it's Gracie's daughter though there are a missing fin like a stump on her left eye I could see it Young bully wearing robes. But he's outside, alone. And he has a missing fin. Just so he would be killed. I know, I know. He killed Nazi and other Turkuni. Burn the Hoji. Hey, light him up. Light him up! We're all full. Where's the old Light him up! Well, it's better than to kill them, though. care about the great balance to the sky people. listen listen to me the sky people are not gonna stop this is only the beginning you gotta tell your tukun to leave you gotta tell him to go far away leave us to live among us and you learn nothing we will fight to protect oh you don't really know how do you mean thing like they don't, don't care about balance as long as you know about fortune this is my father. Damn it! He speaks the truth. You tell the two coon that if they're hit by one of these, they're marked for death. Call for me. All silence. Saving their lives. That's all that matters. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. No, 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 no. Check us out, guys. No. Okay. I want to go home. I know, I know. It's okay, we're going home. I don't think you're gonna save her. He's going to die. What do you need to say? Dad. Yeah, he's dead. No. 
Sorry, Nitrate. Need Corporal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can. I got your daughter to see. Same deal as before. You for them. You all know that he's in, he's in gonna stay there. All fire. He's coming. Yeah, yeah, good. We do the mission. Why is he laughing? He's gonna die anyway. Finally, he's finally dies, you know. So he died in the face of everybody. He is here. This is what they are seeing ever. Okay. Sort of like a memory. This is our home. This is our fortress. 
This is where we make our stand. And that avatar, way of water. But a few things I want to say about this movie. Just a few, not a lot of things, but a few. Okay, so how did this movie manage to get at least 2.3 billion in the box office? I mean, it might be you know, because of the first one, but just like the first one though, there are stories like the plot is all so that complicated. It's a symbol. I don't know if it gets the advantage or it's actually not a good thing, you know. Because you know, when you just think about a billion, a billion in like a movie that is a billion max, you would think it's the story is impressive, it's spiritual, it's amazing, everything just amazing. Well, when it comes to Avada, the simple story, the visual effects are very, very amazing, just one of the best. That's the deal with Avada. Both movies, they just visual, visually okay, amazing. We can, we can deny that, nobody can deny that. They just you only look at the character, their emotions on the face. You have to know that these people, these characters are also CGI and you know, the technology, whatever technology they used in making this one. But you could feel what, even without saying what they feel, you know, you could see on their face that, okay, happy, angry, and that. And it's just so accurate to just how humans do you know. And that is really amazing. Great watching this thing. Well, not this is, but it's usually hard to make it that way, you know. So, amazing, very amazing. And on that note, I want to talk about the good. And then I go to the bed. And as much as I know I like this movie, yeah, I did like it. You know, simple story, that's why I liked it. As much as I like this movie, there's less things I want to say about it. You know, there's just not too many things that made this film, you know, good. But there are a lot of things that I feel like needs an improvement. Especially knowing that there's going to be a third movie. There's a movie. Yeah, like improvement needed. I'm going to start with the good. Then he went into the bed. So the good thing about this Avatar movie, the way of water, is that it's simplicity in the story. Yes, that is actually something you could consider a good thing or a bit. Depends on what you prefer. But as for me, I think I have seen enough complicated movies already where the story is just too much of So I, I will come with simplicity. <laughs> and this, if you want to understand this movie, you have to watch the first one. To be honest, that's how I see it. Was how can you understand about the general, general males or colonial males, right? Yeah. How can you understand him? You can't. You have to, even some of the reference they do make in the first movie. I uh, know, yeah, the makeup of the first movie. If you haven't watched it, it's gonna be hard to understand. So, yeah, you do need to watch it. And one of the other things, too, is okay, as one of the child, this is a little bit difficult to talk because the names are not only hard to say, but there are also too many names. So, I'm just gonna try to describe, you know, what they're doing in that sheet, and hopefully, you understand which character I'm talking about. So the first you know, advantage, one of the advantages, the good thing about this movie is it's a focus on the child, you know, you know Jake Sully's child. Uh, in this case, it's, yeah, what's it? Uh, his name, yeah, you see what I'm talking about? But the one who was outcast, who, the one who feels outcast. And, you know, to be honest, it's kind of understand both sides, sort of. There's the child is a little bit too much. Sometimes, it, not too much exactly actually, he just doesn't follow orders, you know, give you orders, deny them, he doesn't follow them, that's why, and that's why majority of the times it, it does feel like, you know, he's at cast because he doesn't follow the rules, and you know, to understand if he took it on, if the father is kind, you know, his cheek, you would see why, you know, uh, the first time we do see this in this, is the first time, you know, before the destruction, Party and everything. Ah, uh, the system would do see, like one day. I'm gonna say this. They hijacked that train, you know, and took all the weapon and all that. 
that the fake time would you see him sort of disobeying his father's orders and actually going instead of just keeping an eye for the those plans he actually goes into and starts taking you know sort of yeah understand he wants to hear about it but being in a position where you have to look out it's also helping because you get to alert people before you know the enemies are arriving you see them way way when they're still far away so that you can warn the people that are down that the enemy but no he did not do that he just decided you know what <coughs> this is not helping i'm gonna join it on the and that's all in this still being in the orders that you're given and when you do that you get punished when you get punished you get to feel like you know you get to feel like you're you know, outcast people don't really care about it he, he, he brought that on himself and he does this from the beginning of the move up to the end he does this he's given orders he always doesn't follow them always i mean it's kind of his fault if you think about it when you talking especially in this time now kind of his fault why his brother is dead now what did i say this is an advantage well it gives us something personality a differentiation from the first one as much as i love this movie ah uh, the first one so actually in both of them their stories are just the same something you'd expect in just when you start watching it you will sort of map out how it's gonna be in my to the time it's exactly how you map out in your head so yeah so this edition of kids in this one really made this one a better move you know a really amazing move it's an improvement from the first one i do agree on that it's really an improvement and the other advantage i do want to talk about is the exploration of the water or this the tribe water tribe uh, i really liked you know especially with the kids the bonding or the bonding with the chief of that place and the kids of the chief of that place it was really amazing and just get to see how they live or what kind of creatures they, they in, in contact with and you know just go under the sea thing you know just seeing that was really amazing i really appreciate that sort of felt like an adventure i do have adventure movies because that's it's another class sort of felt like an adventure that they welcome so yeah that's another advantage so and the other thing too i don't want to talk about is like well as much as i don't feel like it's an advantage well yeah it is really because if you do think about it uh the jack does not really get in like a lot of screen time neither does nitri but they do play a little bit of good role like yeah enough enough to just understand that they are really they, they're just protective parents and they will be there when then children need them so yeah that's really something that uh we, we you would ex- expect when it comes like the sequel we expect the main characters to remain the main characters well in this yes you could say they are still the main characters it feels like more the kids are more like the main characters and let's get into like the disadvantages or a debate and the first thing is the story the story it's simple it's simple to, to describe if you just rehash the first one it's sort of the same story and well if you argue or what well the edition of the kids yeah yes the edition of the kids is a little bit like what makes it a difference but that's just it and also the setting you know of what happened is also different but overall if you just look at the first move and the second one it's sort of the same thing just from the villain and to the just the story uh the same same thing and why do i say this you know at the final battle we do get to see jack saying well this is everything is happening because of me well what really happened in the first one yes in the first one much of the things were happening it was also because of him you could understand that it was also because of him he was sort of denying what the you know general was saying and well it well it backfired and it caused a lot of people to die same thing in here he doesn't respect the navy and well majority of people died true well yeah i mean you could say okay yes i understand that you know but he's doing this for good reason and he's trying to you know save these people 
Yes, yes, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that, well, I get it. They could have just, just done the same thing with a different story. Just not doing the same thing that they did in the first one, you know. Just the rehash. A lot of things were sort of repeated in a different setting and with a little bit more people, you know, the children. So, yeah, that's, that's a great thing. I don't like about this one. And speaking of it, the other one is where well, this one really for me I don't feel like you know I don't think I know it's a little bit but I feel like they didn't need to do that long. I feel like if you just got like two hours thirty minutes it have just been fine. Although I did not really feel the three hours like eating yet getting tired it was you know three hours I don't really feel that, but yes, it is, it is long. Because of how long it is, it's hard for me to, to rewatch it. To just not, I'm gonna rewatch Avatar the World of Water because of how long it is. And that's just a nitpick, you know. The other thing is, too, is the last battle was way too long. Just way too long. I mean, seriously, it took about 45 minutes. If I'm, um, yeah. Somewhere around that, four to five minutes, just fighting in the last battle. Yes, it's, it was a little bit cool, you know, the visual effects and that last battle was cool and, you know, the explosion and that, but it just took a lot of time and, I, I don't know, it just didn't like, the fight was amazing, but it just it didn't need to be four to five minutes. That's what I'm talking about, it, they just cut some of the things. They did like four to five minutes, just to remove like 50 minutes of that. This move would have easily been a like, two hours, 30 minutes movie, and you still have like, nothing lost, you know. So I just feel like the last part was just way too long. And also, yeah, before like I go to the next best thing, uh, what happened? What really happened to the water now? In the final part of the day, but no, 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 checking this family, like, we just kind of ditched them, we just ditched them, what happened, really, I, I didn't see them leave, you know, just when it got dark or when you check his son sort of died, it's like, they were scared, and then they just run away, they just bailed on him, and checking this family, we don't really see them again, until the final battle ends, we never see them. Well, it they went. What will happen to the water now? Really? Yeah, that is just bad writing. Seriously, just, just bad writing. I don't know why. And one last thing. Ah, uh, is the outcast. Yeah. Well, I, I get it. I wanted to make sure, make sure that uh, he does have somebody else who kind of know or know how to do that to be outcast, but just, it doesn't have a good contribution to the story, to be honest. You know, this is what I'm talking about. The, the story overall, oh, when you just put it together and just line up everything right now, you get a lot of issues. You get like the repetition, the unnecessary story, unnecessary plot, actually, and just a reuse of a lot of things. I don't know, she just, that's just bad for me, everything I just felt was just a bad part of it, but, you know, it's weird that I still did enjoy it, it's not like, you know, how can I say this, simple, the simple movie, get in there, uh, yes, good time with the visual effects, don't mind too much about the story, just say, okay, and you get a good time, that's what I went in, and I uh, wasn't really much of a disappointment, was I went with low expectations, not too much. Commenting that we can't just say because the two billion movies are it has to be amazing, like I said before. Well, it's not it's not complicated, it's just a simple story. And sort of worked for that. Remember, like, okay, I'm just gonna go dive into Marvel a little bit. But remember, Thorgnarok, yeah, that movie was amazing. The jokes, not all of them were brilliant, but majority of them, like 90% of them were amazing, just 
It was an amazing movie. They needed to say, try it to do the same thing with the soul love and thunder. Well, that did not work out. That, that movie was just horrible and just yeah, awful. Everything, the jokes and everything just dragged the move down more than I thought it would. You know, just too much jokes. So it doesn't always work, work when you try to repeat the same thing you did. You know, the, that saying, I think James Cameron, who was the director of this movie, kind of goes with the saying of, you know, if it's not broken, why bother fixing it? You know, why? It's not broken, so don't try to change anything. I think that's the same thing you try to do. The first move did way in the box office. Well, why try to change things? No, you're going to stick with the same thing, you know. Just the same storyline, just add a little bit of sprinkles on it, and you, you still do the same thing as the first one did. And I guess it worked. I guess it worked. But if the second movie does follow this, uh, no, not the second, the third movie does follow the same structure and way of doing things like the first and second did, and doesn't have a different storyline, I don't see it making it to be I don't. Maybe 1.5 or 1.7 is where I would put my money. But 2 billion? Yeah, I don't see that happening because it will be just a repetition of just three movies repeating each other and on a simple story. I guess we have to see until that movie comes. I don't know. Is it 2020? 2023? No, no, it's 2024, right? That's when the movie's coming out. Huh. Anyway, guys, that was my reaction to half part of the way of water and my review to it. Um, um, I'll, if I have to read it, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Mostly, mostly, why did I get to 7? Visually, yeah, visually is appealing, that's why it got 7. So, yeah, this side. So, yeah, 7 out of 10. And guys, if you do like my reaction and review to Alpha the way of water, make sure that you do leave a like, also subscribe. Comment down below when you watch this movie, what did you think about it? Does it deserve to be? In the two billionaire club, you know, that is the that is the day. Just write down your thoughts, and if you know, just consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.